I guess it cut off in the last one, but hey, I can just finish off where I was. The cards are still where they were. But the Eight of um, Pentacles, so like I was saying, somebody's child is a workaholic. They um, always work on top of being active in school. Maybe someone's child is running from their family issues by being overly active. Somebody's child could be having um, some blockages in their life as well, though, because of the simple fact that the, the read was cut off like that. And it's just a lot of distractions in this child's life, even if this child is not in school. Like, this child could be a kid, a, like a baby, a toddler. This child is seeing spiritual things in their dreams, they see spirits, things of that sort. Somebody here definitely spoils their child. And somebody's child is going to be able to reciprocate that energy back to you when you're older, okay? Because the emperor is a father. Somebody is a damn good father. Somebody loves their father. There's a, there's a daddy's girl here. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody could have watched their mom or their grandmom or whoever is a feminine, a positive feminine influence in their life be very fruitful and abundant. This person is very knowledgeable, very stable, very nurturing to themselves and others. This person is very beautiful. She could wear her makeup like this as well. She could wear turbans or head wraps. You know, somebody's child is contemplating on walking away or running away. Somebody, okay, somebody's child is pregnant. Or somebody's child is planning to run away because they are pregnant. Or this child ran away and got pregnant. And this is the secret that they're scared to reveal to you because they know that you probably were a, what do you call it, a teenage mom or dad. And this, they're fearing that you're going to beat down on them because they're repeating the cycle. Or they have repeated the cycle. But somebody's definitely going to move towards, somebody's ready to pull up on you. So this could be a baby mama or a baby daddy. But somebody's going to be rewarded in a major way. This child is going to do great things in this world. This child is going to create some type of movement. There we go. Yeah, somebody's at the beginning stages of something, though. They're not a master just yet. Somebody could be planning to go to school for something new, something that they are passionate about, like nursing, um, you know, a pediatrician, a lawyer, a police officer. There's some kids that want to do a lot of great things. Somebody's child is definitely aligning with partnerships that is going to bring in great rewards for this child to be the great leader that you raised them to be. You've instilled some type of knowledge or some type of morals or some type of, you know, beliefs that is bringing in balance for this child and for your bloodline all together. I like this. You could have a Sagittarius child, a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, or these could be your signs. But however, someone is being spiritually guided to do something, rather this is singing, dancing, sewing, um, doing hair. So let's go ahead and get these names.
We're going to get these names and it's going to be the end of the reading. I'm sorry that the other reading got cut off, but this is the second reading to the first one. So if you haven't checked out the first reading, what you need to know about your children, and this will be part two. So the other one is part one. And these are the names. So let's go ahead and get started with the names. If your name or your child's name come out, it is a synchronicity to you, okay? All right, let's get started. Betty, somebody named Betty. This could be your grandma, your mama, your, you know, your aunt. Ebony. Marquise. Or this could be you. You could be the golden child as well. Harriet. Chuck. Major. Darlene. Marley. Black. Vita. Mills. Corey, Leisha, Paige, Jocelyn, Vincent, Kevin, Stallings, Matthew, Kelsey, Collier, Elbert, D'Angelo, Seth, somebody's gonna love you, Monte or Monty, did I say this, Scroggins, Rick or Ricky, Rucker, not sure if I said that. Tate. Monet. First, middle, or last name. Portia. Brooks. Shane. Jordan. Knox. Reggie, Cheryl, Mariah, Deanne, Helga, Keisha, Ingram, hey Grandma, Crystal, Hooker, Rachel, Felix, Nancy, Jacqueline, Lovey, Vera, there go my grandma. Wallace. Raquel. Tyla. Latrice. Gina. Seven. Shoemaker. Coppage, Milton, Sharp, Bland. Oh, my tuppy, Taylor. 
That's my favorite. Shakayla. Sadie. Okay, let's get a few more names. Jasper, Julie, Mira, Sylvester, Flores. I don't, I think I do know somebody with that last name. Karen. My mommy dearest. I'm dead. Okay. Next name, Marquita. What you wanna do, huh? Somebody gonna be asking your kid what you wanna do. Like this kid could be very talkative, like they got a lot of mouth. So somebody might kid might be having their first fight. Chantel. Did I say far? Yeah, Cause that came out far. Kendra, Tawana, Nyla, Aries, Crockett, Justice, Martin, Okay. Calvin. Travis. Smith. Dickerson. Raymond. Jay. Paul. Kamisha. Devin. And I'm dead. I don't know anybody named Isabella, but it keeps pop popping out. And this is the last name out. If you like my vibe, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, go ahead and watch the first video. I said that already. So, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.